Oh. Oh. Welcome back to the Way to Native Chronicles. Today we're going to delve into a subject to do with safety. Uh, kind of focusing on that lately a little bit. And I want to cover a few things that I've been meaning to get to for quite a while. Uh, this one coming up is something that I have a little reluctance to deal with because it's kind of hard to record it on a video camera, but I'm going to do the best I can with this. The subject today is on safety with lever actions with magazine fed uh, rifles more generally. And it uh, doesn't affect every kind of rifle there is out there, but there are some that this can pose a significant hazard to. And, uh, I've never noticed it really being in my uh, Malt 94 uh, with the 3030 cartridges, but I do have a rifle that definitely exhibits the problem and we'll take a look at that rifle specifically in this video I'm going to show you how it is so easy to accidentally end up with a loaded firearm just laying around after a shooting session thinking that it's been unloaded very dangerous condition here I got, got a 30-30 here and I have a, a Rossi Ranch Hand. Now, I've been using this little rifle here for quite a while. I've, I've put over a thousand rounds through this gun. And it's a fun gun to shoot. It's not exactly uh, what I call high quality. It's pretty rough. And maybe that has uh, something to do with the fact that it exhibits this behavior. But what we're going to do is going to take a bunch of dummy rounds, put six rounds in it. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we've got a, a rifle loaded with six dummy rounds. Here comes the tricky part to show you what I mean. Because what's the danger in this rifle is the unloading process. And the unloading process is dangerous for this reason. That when you open up the action to kick out a shell, you know, the shells are kicking out. There's two. There's three. Hey, now what if I had lost count? You saw me just put in six rounds in this gun, right? Let's say that was on the fifth round or, or the sixth round that this happened. I can replicate this all day long. Now it's now it's starting to work again. But that, that was after two tries. Try it again. Okay, so it looks like I got lucky, but I want to check really careful inside this rifle to see if it is in fact empty. And the way I can tell that is if I look right inside there and see the end of the of the plug that's in the magazine sticking out okay you gotta take a real close look in fact that's a good good reason for having uh, a colored uh, magazine follower in there so that you can readily see the that colored tip when the gun is empty to make sure that it is in fact empty because what I just did there is I had a situation where the gun appeared to be unloaded. Now the fact that it occurred when it was on the, I think, the third cycle, that made it kind of obvious that, hey, I know I put six rounds in there. But that had happened on the sixth round, not being familiar with this kind of a gun. I could see a person putting the gun away, thinking they've now properly unloaded it. And then somebody else goes and picks it up, maybe a kid or something like that, who knows, eh? And they work the action, check to see if it, you know, and just go like that, and then boom, the gun goes off. So this sort of situation really bugged me because 
I thought, well, you know, if it's doing that, this gun isn't going to be reliable when it's in the field, when I'm shooting. But, uh, as I said, I've put a lot of rounds through this gun, and I've never had an instance where it didn't properly cycle and bring up the next round out of the magazine. What you just saw here, it never happens. So, prior to that, I was trying to figure out what, how to solve this problem, but then later on I realized, well, Actually, it never occurs for a very simple reason. This gun has a wallop of a recoil. And so when you fire a shot, it may be a little bit sticky inside the magazine there, but when you fire a shot, that vibration and the recoil definitely sets the, the case up so that the next time you open it up, it's going to come through. So there's, there's some sort of a hang-up going on inside the magazine. I've looked at it very closely and trying to figure out what what the cause of it is. I think one of the possibilities is the fact that this is uh, 44 Magnum, so it's a short stubby cartridge. Maybe the, the, the cartridge can kind of get a little skewed inside the magazine, maybe uh, aided by certain bullet shapes and stuff like that too. And, uh, and so maybe it, instead of coming straight out of the magazine, one time it comes through a little bit crooked and hangs up on rim of the case, something like that. But in any case, when assisted by good healthy recoil, it never hangs up in the tube. The danger is when you're unloading the gun. So something to keep in mind. I hope that is clear enough. If you have some questions or want to share some experiences yourself with uh, either the Rossi Ranch Hand or perhaps you have another lever action or tube fed magazine rifle that uh, does the same thing. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about this. So that's the short little video on this subject. So now I'll go gather up all these empty dummy cartridges that are scattered all around my floor here and uh, I'll uh, see you next time on the way to Native Chronicles. I hope you subscribe. If you uh, click the bell icon on, the, on your screen that will also give you notifications. Your subscriptions really help in this endeavor. So, until next time from the Way to Native Chronicles, God bless.